Now we are studying about the vector form of Coulomb slope. To that we are considering two situations. First one, uh, we are considering two like charges. Two same charges. For example, here we are taking two positive charges. First one is charge Q1 is positive and another charge is Q2 is also a positive charge is both are like charges and are separated by a distance of R and are separated by a distance of R we know that these are uh, like charges so a, so a repulsive force is generated between them two positive charges so a repulsive force is generated between them then the force act on q2 due to q1 a repulsive force act on q2 due to q1 is in this direction f that is written as f21 the force act on Q2 due to Q1 is F21. The force act on Q1 due to Q2 is in this direction. That is F12 is written as F12. These are the two repulsive forces. Then another two points are the distance from Q1 to Q2 is R12 is in this direction. The distance from Q2 to Q1 is R21 is in this direction. Then next step we, we are going to uh, change F12 in vector form. We know the equation of Coulomb's law. What is Coulomb's law says? F is the attractive or repulsive force. A Coulomb force between two charges is equal to the 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 into Q1 Q2 divided by R square. Here we are considering first force F12. The force act on Q1 due to Q2 is F12 is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 into Q1 Q2 divided by the distance from Q2 to Q1. Here we are considering the distance from Q2 to Q1 because force act on Q1 due to Q2. So we are considering the distance from Q2 to Q1 is R21. Then we want to convert this term also in vector form so here we are writing a unit vector unit vector r21 r21 is the distance from q2 to q1 the unit the value of unit vector is 1 so here is no uh, the value of this right hand side does not change us when we odd this unit vector here like that Next step we are considering F21. F21 is the force act on Q2 due to Q1. Is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 Q1 Q2 divided by. Here we are considering the distance from Q1 to Q2 because the force act on Q2 due to Q1. So we are considering the distance from Q1 to Q2 is R12. Then R12 the whole square. And to change this term in uh, vector form, here we are multiply with a unit vector R12. The distance from Q1 to Q2. The value of unit vector is 1. This is the condition of li uh, like charges when we are considering to like charges. Like that, next step we are considering to unlike charges. For example, here.
here we are considering one positive charge and one negative charge. Two unlike charges. Here I am considering this is Q1. It's a positive charge and another one is Q2. Is a negative one and are separated by a distance of R. You already know that these are different charges, so an attractive force is generated between them. Because Q1 and Q2 are unlike charges. So, how the direction of force? The force of attraction on Q2 due to Q1 is in this direction. This is F21. The force of attraction on Q1 due to Q2 is in this direction, that is F12. The force of attraction on Q1 due to Q2 is F12. The force of attraction on Q2 due to Q1 is F21. The distance from Q1 to Q2 is R12. The distance from Q2 to Q1 is R21. This is in this direction. So, we are going to derive the uh, equation of forces in vector form. The first one, F12. The force F12 is the attractive force on Q1 due to Q2 is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 Q1 Q2 divided by here it is the attractive force so the for, uh, the so here we are considering the distance from Q1 to Q2 F12 is the attractive force act on Q1 due to Q2 so the distance from Q1 to Q2 is R12. To change this in vector form, here we are adding a term, here multiplying a term, is uni unit vector R12. Like that, F21, the attractive force act on charge Q2 due to charge Q1 is F21 is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q1 q2 divided by here is the force act on q2 attractive force act on q2 due to q1 so we are considering the distance from q2 to q1 is r21 whole square to change this in vector form we are multiply with a unit vector R21. These are the four equations. F12. In the case of like charges, vector F12 and vector F21. In the case of unlike charges, vector F12 and vector F21. The next one point also, uh, here we are considering R12 and R21. R12 is the distance from Q1 to Q2 and R21 is the distance from Q2 to Q1. These are in opposite direction. So, R12 is equal to minus R21. So, we can write as F12 is equal to minus F21. We get like this. 
f12 is equal to minus f21 means this obey newton's